Mr. Olympian all the time. Ha, Philip. Because I don't want to give them more, more credit than they deserve. So you need a certain amount of aggression. Ha, Philip. I mean, goddamn. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Kai Green, A to the AK, Mr. Getting It Done. We're going to get started today. We're going to do a little bit of training. Um, wanted to take a minute and just say, what's up, everybody? Uh, a lot going on, a lot to talk about. But before we talk, we're going to take a minute and check in with ourselves. And one way that I like to check in with myself is when I train. I tell you, exercise for me is a wonderful therapeutic relief that brings a lot of really positive things. Um, we're talking about positive hormone release, which is a really, really cool thing. Endorphins and stuff. I'm talking about that stuff that's supported by science. That talks about making you feel good and certainly a little bit better, particularly when we're trying to deal with some of the things that happen in life. Um, but without further ado, I'd like to get started with an exercise that I'd like to call getting it done. So right now, if you're feeling like I'm feeling, ready to train and you don't want to hear a whole lot of talk too much, before we get it started, now's the time. Follow me. Let's get it done. Traps. Get it, Ron Boy. Let's go, Kai. Really cool. Oh, I love this exercise because it allows me to start to warm up with my triceps. Here's another exercise. It's called uh, rope, tricep rope extensions. Mm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good news. Ah, got some blood in them. This is an old exercise. A lot of times when you put blood in your tricep, I like to bounce back and forth, um, putting blood in the, in the other exercise. So what I want to do is I want to train both the the antagonistic muscle group. Uh, so what am I going to do? I did two exercises. Uh, triceps. I'm going to throw in an exercise for my bicep. Traditional Arnold curl. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Switch it up, other side, same rules apply. Don't swing so much. Two, weight is pretty light. Three, four, I just want to squeeze my bicep. Six, seven, I'm not going to let that elbow move so much. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, who's up? Let's get back over here. Boom! Ah, what are we doing? Bitch, dips. Uh, again, for the tricep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I like that. Ah, oh, 15! Ah, oh, touch your neighbor and say 15 was the magic number. 20, 15, 12. Let's rock. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep. 15 is the magic number. Oh, coming back over here. Boom. Let's make it work. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Again, fifteen, that magic number. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not a lot of swinging. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That magic number. Let's throw this away. Boom. Right now we start to get a little bit of a pump going on. Yeah. Touch a neighbor, say the pump is real. Wow. Mm. All right. Mm. Back at it. 12 reps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right. Oh, you know what? I remember starting to train when I was a young man. Huh. In my mama's living room, after everybody went to sleep, <laughs> learning how to exercise, working out. <laughs> Believe it or not, I used to <laughs> put a broomstick together on top of two speakers. And I uh, started uh, designing my own little way of creating equipment to exercise. Ah, back to the rope. Three, magic numbers 12, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Touch your neighbor, say twelve is the magic number. Twelve is the magic number. Moving on. Okay, back to the on a concentration curl. Let's get it. Two, three, four, five. No swinging on that elbow. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we'll use this again to kind of isolate the peak on that bicep. Anytime your elbow goes to the front of your body, guess what? We hit that side of the bicep. That is the peak. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. That's the magic number, y'all. We got blood in these arms. This warmer allows me to feel in touch, activated. Now what I can do is, because I can feel my triceps, <clears throat> I'm gonna share with you guys a really cool exercise that uh, I think is uh, it's an oldie but goodie. Some people have forgotten about it. Um, I think it's a really cool benefit to uh, speaking to um, lateral head of the tricep. And uh, as I'm working to improve my physique, huh, it's one of those things I like to think about a little more often now than not. Just in case I have to run into some of those warriors out there, you know them, that happen to have really, really well developed arms. At any rate, <clears throat> I'm not talking about you, Ruli, or, or Phil, I mean, um, anybody, you know. I just like to train my arm, that's all I'm talking about, right? Okay, let's get it. Mm, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm gonna twist this up, eight, nine. I'm gonna switch it up in a minute, 10, 11. The magic number is 20, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, I'm gonna turn around and cross my body. Ow, ow, ow. Three, four, five, six, seven. This is work how I work on my backhand. That's what Ike must have did for Tina. Backhand him. We gonna backhand him. <laughs> 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now the goal 
is to stay focused. You get me? I made a joke or two, but the truth is, the power lies in my concentration. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Now see the real cool thing about bodybuilding is about building, you know. So you can't look at the body for what it is now. You look for it to become what you want it to be through the sacrifice of doing the work in the present. You get what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Here's a really cool exercise that I like. In fact, I love. My training partner loves these too. Um, right now I'm gonna share them with you guys just because I, I like to do these uh, lately. All right, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna, Lean on this side. And then what I'm gonna do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like I'm chopping wood. Eleven. Like I'm like I'm a hammer. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20. All right, I'm gonna switch this up. Uh, same thing on the other side. Same rules apply. This is how we make those arms just kind of swell up. Uh, I'm gonna start out looking like Kermit the Frog, but by the end of this routine, I swear to God, I'll be looking bigger than Ruly Winkler. <laughs> Shout out to Ruly. I'm just kidding. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just like I'm chopping it with a, with a, with a hammer. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's how I get involvement with that brachioradialis in there. You get me? Uh, and for those of you who don't know, that's one of them Phil Heath muscle groups, you know? <clears throat> I won't say that name too much on this program because I don't want to give them more credit than they deserve. I mean, goddamn. I'm just kidding. Hi, Philip. I mean, Phil. Hi, Philip. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're going to start here. Uh, this is my road to trying to get them Philip Heath arms. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, turn it across the body. Now shout out to Philip Heath. I mean, uh, Phil, three, Mr. Olympia multiple times. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that's what you call very close to failure, y'all. If you don't know, now you do. Failure is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But sometimes it's not easy to get to failure. 15, so you need a certain amount of aggression to overcome objections or the objections necessary to find what that threshold is for you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, uh, 11, 12, uh, uh, and I can spot myself. Ooh, and again, ooh. Ah. 
Yeah. The biggest knock on my physique in the last year or so has been, believe it or not, the improvement of my arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Believe it or not, when I was a kid though, my arms were like one of the first things to grow. So much so, they overgrew and they kind of dwarfed everything else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. This is a dynamic exercise right here, y'all. Seriously, this is not one to take lightly. <sighs> Sometimes you might, because you might think you need to have a tremendous amount of weight on there. And technically you don't. Uh, to make the development um, become what you want it to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, oh yeah, that's the magic number, y'all, 12. Yup, let's go, damn it. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, ah, 12, yeah, let's go. You know, sometimes people look at the present and all they can see is what's in front of them. I've learned that by being a bodybuilder, an aspiring athlete, I can't just look at the face value, but I've learned how to see what I want to see. In other words, what I want it to be or what it will be after hours and hours of work that's been invested. Ah, all right, cross the body. Ah, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, wow, nine, ten, wow, eleven, wow, twelve. Yeah, take another dumbbell. Go up with some weight. Some weight, great shape. <clears throat> so what am I saying? I'm saying that I learned in order to become a successful bodybuilder, I had to learn how to develop my vision. So I can't just see what's on the surface. I gotta be able to see beyond for what I want it to become or what it will become, three, in the future, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, in order to become a successful bodybuilder, in order to become a successful athlete, in order to become any person that's capable of recognizing their ability to build their own success, you have to become a visionary. You gotta be able to see what you wanna see and not just take what you see at face value. You have to see it for what you want it to become. And what it can become when you invest the time the effort, the work of your thinking, rep after rep after rep 
after rep, after rep. You get me? <laughs> I don't really like these, but I think uh, they're in line with what we've just been talking about so far, so why don't we just throw them in there? All right. Brachioradialis. Touch your neighbor, say brachioradialis. Uh, let's talk about it. Ooh. In fact, I can show you better than I can tell you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19. Oh, wow. Ooh. Very demanding. Very demanding. Ah, all right. But I want to follow that up, though, with this. I love this exercise. And I love this sequence. This sequence is awesome. When I was a kid, there used to be something called Flex Magazine Workout. And Sean Ray was like an amazing personality. That's a very old man now. I don't know why he looks so good, but he's, he's rather ancient because if he was around when I was a teenager, then you, you understand I'm not saying anything negative. It's just an observation. So Sean, if you heard that, you know, I don't mean nothing by it, but you's an old mother Anyway, here we go. He used to do these things called kickbacks like this, reverse tricep extensions. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And he did them fast. Thirteen, fourteen, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. This tricep looked amazing. I've since evolved into my own thing, and I kind of added this, which is an overhead tricep. <clears throat> Two, I'm gonna do them together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now the way we do those is for every twenty reps you do on the reverse, you follow it up with twenty on the opposite side. Now, remember this rubber range. We said 20, 15, and 12. So I'm gonna come back over here. And we're gonna get 15 reps. <clears throat> Cause I want great arms. And uh, thank you, Sean Ray, for taking the time to show the up and coming athletes that were coming up behind you, like myself. Um, it was wonderful to see his pace, his intensity in the gym. Um, and uh, yeah, man, everybody makes their contribution. You get me? And hopefully, you know, I get a chance to make mine as I share this moment with you guys. And we get this thing going because we want great arms. Rep ranges 15, touch your neighbor. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yup. I swear to you, every time I do this exercise, for like twenty years at least, I thought about Sean Ray mm, and how he demoed this exercise and lifestyles and a fit and famous. It's an old VHS tape. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Boom! Man, you know what he said? Kai Green told you, didn't he? He told you what you gotta do when you do it. And this is how we get it done. One, two, three. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, man. See, here's the thing. You can't just plagiarize and copy somebody else's shit. You gotta study it, learn from it, and then, <laughs> once you've mastered it, you gotta make it your own. You get me? And the way you do that is by adding your thing to it, your flavor. That's how it becomes improved. That's what Bruce Lee did for like Kung Fu, you know? That's what every pioneer does, you know? It's not to say that you, you rage against the machine, you learn the lessons that are important, that are taught by all those that have come before you. You make that information yours, and then what you do is you add to it. You show, you show it in abbreviations of the best lessons. <clears throat> That's how you make your improvements. That's how you make your contribution to the game. Bang. Bang. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. <sighs> yep. Boom. You know what? We've got a chance to get a little closer today. And I really want to take a minute and acknowledge this because, you know, there's a lot of things that are happening in the world right now. And it can be very, very easy to become so distracted or allow your thoughts to be so absorbed by that stuff that we can almost forget to have enough room still left in here to consider the things that are really important to us, the things that we really want to think about, the things that, that if we add our creativity to and that are required of our creativity will allow us to continue to progressively move towards developing in the direction that we most want to go. You know, artists have to continue to work. You know, writers have to continue to write. Singers got to continue to sing and dancers got to keep on dancing. You know, it's through them doing those things that they continue to make a contribution. We make our contribution to this world, to this life, to this opportunity. This is how you let your light shine. And believe me, when shit gets dark outside, that's what the world needs most. You know, don't deprive the world of your light. And sometimes it's very easy to do when we're dealing with a forecast of gloom and doom. So my point in this moment, man, still sing your song, still dance your dance. Remember to do the work that is still important to you. If you enjoy training and working out and it brings the positive release of all the good stuff that you're allowed to conjure and think about, then do it. Continue to do it. Invent new ways to do it. Shout out to everybody that's working out in the house with bands and gallons of water. <laughs> uh, doing it however you can do it to get it done because it's important that we do that. And uh, it's been my privilege and my pleasure to share with you this moment, a uh, time in, in my life, and hopefully... Hopefully, something that was said here today will be of service to you. Um, let's keep it, let's keep it positive. Let's remember to keep encouraging each other. And yeah, man, until next time, this is your boy, AKA Mr. Getting It Done. We got a good training session in. We did arms, biceps, and triceps. Until next time. Peace. Minakai, do your homework. We're dropping pina colada, y'all. Are you ready to experience the world of the savage? Woo! Oh. <sighs>